Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Me Build 2332 in VirtualBox. Now, this really isn't a uh, installation tutorial because uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a virtual hard drive, also known as a VHD, in the description below. Um, just because that uh, the installation for me just is really, really uh, tacky to kind of work with. It's uh, a little bit confusing to work around. I will be putting the ISO in the description as well, but I, the main thing will be just uh, showing you guys the virtual hard drive. But uh, the way to do this, if you can get it to work perfectly, is install Windows 98 first and then upgrade to this build of 2332. But this wasn't working in VirtualBox for me, so I had to um, do it in my uh, Windows 7 PC that I have in here. I did it in uh, Virtual PC 2007, and then I just copied that virtual hard drive over. So, what you need to do in VirtualBox here is create a new machine. We're just going to call it Windows Me Build 2332. Go ahead and click Next. And leave it at 128 megabytes of RAM. Click Next. Now here you want to click Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk File, and then you want to browse for that uh, VHD that you downloaded from the link in the description. Now mine is located all the way in here so click uh, it should be called Windows Millennium Build 2332 hard disk go ahead and click open and then create and then now this is to confirm to make this work you have to go to storage and in that RAR file with the VHD is going to be the Windows Me setup disk the uh, oak CD-ROM uh, you want to put that in the floppy uh, file here and uh, go ahead and click start to start the virtual machine oops so it's going to start it up and then it should come up with the yep comes up with the CD-ROM start menu go ahead and kind of just flash this just so the countdown stops go ahead and click boot from CD-ROM and then you need to hit shift F5 to go to the command prompt then you need to type in uh, date it's going to say today's date. Well, this isn't today's date for you guys, but uh, it will say today's date on there. You want to change this to the 7th, or the month to the 7th, the day to the 14th, and the year to 1999. So you want to change the date on this to uh, July, July 14th, 1999. Click Enter, and it should change it. And then when you reset... Uh, the virtual machine here and you have this pop up again and boot CD-ROM and then go back into command prompt and type in date now it should say that the current date is Wednesday July 14th 1999 so now you can go ahead and remove this uh, virtual hard drive and that's uh, now I'm going to reset the machine and now it should build back up into this so it's going to find some new hardware, and you see on the bottom right that it says Windows Millennium uh, Build 2332, and it's going to go through some hardware installations here. So, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter if it's doing this or not. So, I mean, I guess it just doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and do this installation, restart to do it, and it will uh, restart your machine. It shouldn't reset your dates in this so um, I guess if it doesn't actually restart and this steam message stuff is annoying uh, reset the machine uh, it should just boot back up into the Windows Millennium so it's gonna do a lot of uh, finding of hardware since this was converted technically from a Windows virtual PC machine to a uh, virtual box machine so it's going to uh, install some new software so this could take a little bit of time so you kind of just let this go for a little bit and I'll be back with you guys uh, once this is finished installing all of these devices so this may require uh, restarting your machines a couple times I mean you can cancel some of these if you would like um, but this multimedia one you probably would want to do because this is your audio um, that's coming up and I guess didn't work anyway but uh, you can cancel some of these if you would like I guess it just it really doesn't really matter what you do with these they really don't matter much at all 
Um, so there's just going to be some of this still coming up. And uh, you're just going to want to let it go through. And uh, it should eventually finish. And then we'll get to the desktop. So I'll be back once we hit that. So after a while of trying to install those, it will finally come up. Uh, a couple of errors may come up, so just kind of get out of those. And it will still come up with this Windows 98 screen when it pops up. So that's uh, completely normal. You can just close out of that. And uh, now you have uh, Windows Millennium Build 2332 installed. So uh, that's very, very good. And I made the uh, user so that it doesn't display it as my name. But uh, if you go to... Uh, Right click on my computer, click here. It'll say Microsoft Windows Millennium 2332. So, and it's registered as Windows user and not everything EPAN. So, there you go, guys. That is uh, how to uh, install Windows Millennium Build 2332 in VirtualBox. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, this is convenient just because this is just a virtual hard drive. So, hopefully, you got, uh, guys won't. Uh, be able to use this. Uh, you can try the manual installation if you would like. Um, but just make sure when you're doing that, just make sure to change the date to um, July 14th, 1999, or otherwise it will say that it is expired and you will have to redo the uh, setting up of the machine. So um, that's it for the video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment your ideas down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.